Let's have a look at making a saw in Blender. Okay, very simple saw. All right, I'm going to bring in a background image, which I've done. I like this little clip art thing here. And I'm gonna go Shift A and bring in a plane, rotate Y90 and go into edit mode and wireframe. And just let's make sure that I am not using any weird shading here. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this towards the front of my saw. Make it roughly the size that I need. Like this. And um, let's just do that. Let's grab this and bring it so that I can put one edge loop right in the middle and it sort of approximates where the point would be. I can shrink these down in a minute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a point, just like that. Let's scale this in the Y, let's position it. No big deal, it doesn't have to match the diagram uh, perfectly. I can bring that up a little bit. Like if you want it to be somewhat closer, I'm just gonna leave all the edges straight for now. And I'm gonna apply an array in the Y and make the X zero and just increase the count. Okay, what's going on here? Zero, that's better. Okay, not too many. Something like that would probably work. Uh, I'll go into a solid view. So that's what I have there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. Let's turn that off. And go into edit mode and W remove doubles and that will get rid of some i'll come over here select this last point right there on shift s cursor selected and choose 3d cursor as my pivot point now i can I'll do this in wireframe box select all of these and go rx and rotate them up to follow the angle of that now we'll go under the handle and as long as i'm happy with the point here if i'm not i can select these and I can adjust how pointy I want this to be. I'm just gonna leave it right there. I'm now gonna select this far point right there. Shift S, cursor selected, my 3D cursor will pop over there and that'll be used as a pivot. I grab these and RX and pull them down like that. Now I'm gonna have a look over here and I'm gonna decide if I want to, uh, let's, go off of that and I might move that in and I might move this in a little bit just like that okay cool let's give this a uh, let's actually put some edge loops on this first control R I'm gonna drag an edge loop close to the top and close to the bottom and give this some thickness solidify I'm going to use 0 0.025 and I'm going to hit apply I'm going to look from the front view and I'm going to put some edge loops also here and here and that's it all right let's add subdivision surface and you'll see it kind of compress a little bit smooth and that's my saw blade Okay, now if I do another subdivision, it'll get like that. If you like that kind of uh, view, that would be just fine. But there's my saw blade, and now we just need a handle for it. Now there's different ways to do the handle. And probably a lot of people would do just, you know, box modeling. But I'm going to do a different way. Uh, I'm going to use curves, and then there is going to be an end gun, two end guns. I think two, <laughs> maybe more, but it's going to work out just fine and it's going to look all right. So, and I like using curves, so I'm going to go curve, path, rotate Z90. Okay, so it's laying down there. I'm going to bring it up to here and I'm going to come in and bring these over and I'm just going to start pulling. Now it's a little bit hard to see the wire and it's going to take a bit of. Uh, 
manipulation, but we're just going to do it. Oops. And I'm going to hit E to extrude, and periodically I'm just going to go tab back in, and I'm going to see uh, tab into object mode and see how it's going. I can add points when I need. I'm just going to extrude a bit and just start pulling. And I like this method because it, it just it ends up looking smoother. I'm not looking for something sharp, sharp, and overly realistic. Uh, I'm just going to add another point and another point. So I can select those and go W subdivide and get it a bit more exact if that's what I want. It's quick and you can see it's starting to take shape. It does not have to look exactly like the diagram in my opinion. Yes. I'm going to select those and subdivide and I'll pull that up a bit and this down a bit. I just want something that looks like, um, like a saw, like a saw handle. And you can always add more points where you, where you need them you know, if you want that more defined. Bezier curves, not very good at them, so I'm just going to do it this way. Um, maybe, uh, let's see, maybe I'll split this. Come along just the way I like it. Nice and smooth and round and cartoony. Let's come back up here. Do that for now. That's almost what I want there. Okay, so you could play around with it for as long as you want. Let's assume that's what I want. What I would then do is I'd come over to the curves. I'm gonna switch this to four. I don't want too many uh, vertices. I'm gonna go Alt-C, mesh from curve. And then now, when I select it and go into vertex selection, I can just take these two and go F to make a face. And then I can just, you know, manipulate this a little bit if I want to. You know, separate points if I needed to. But it's already pretty smooth and so here's what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna hit uh, F to make a face that's a big game gone E to extrude I'm gonna give it some thickness and I'll select it all control and to flip any polys switch to edge selection and shift alt and click the edge going all the way around there and there control B to bevel and pull back and give it a few segments to smooth it out all right now hit smoothing and we could have some issues here so we're going to go in and select this face and this face and just hit I and accept the default values and that will give us our basic handle shape all right and we can adjust this a little bit if we want now, depending on how well we did our curves, uh, we may or may not like what we see uh, right there. Um, I might be able to bevel that like that, and it might help us out a little bit. And then what I would do to make the hole is I would go into wireframe, 
and I'm just going to put down a curve path again. Rotate Z at 90. I'll scale that in. Position it. Go into edit mode and just start uh, pulling these points. I'm going to go with this inner circle here. It doesn't have to look exactly the same. And I'm just going to lay down some points and then I'm going to look. And uh, you can, of course, change the color of your wire if you want to. If you're having trouble seeing uh, the light gray. Let's do this quickly. looking all right say that was the kind of hole that we wanted all right if that was the case I'm uh, going to I think I'm gonna leave that I'm gonna go alt C uh, mesh come back in and and now I can uh, just join those F make a face and I can just not do that I can just sort of manipulate these a little bit better To approximate like a circle okay so I get this kind of thing I'm gonna hit F to make a face E and I'm gonna extend it out I'm gonna use this to cut where to go all right let's uh, scale this in the X big so it goes right through and let's uh, make sure all the polys are flipped the right way okay so yeah I'm doing a boolean so I'm gonna select my main object and I'm gonna go boolean difference with the eyedropper, I'm going to select that, hit apply, take this and delete it. We have a hole, it looks weird, but let's go in and in edge selection, select all of this. Don't select anything but the outer perimeter of that. Control B, pull back, give it a few segments, maybe three or so, and then select the body, any pieces, polys on the face. And go I to select the default values. And I didn't have the nicest curve up there. Okay, I can come in here and I can select those and come out a bit if I want and go shading smooth. And that should could help. I can put on a matte cap if I want. how it looks okay not too high poly not bad not bad just one way you could do it that does involve n-gons doesn't involve a subdivision surface there and uses curves if you box model this you can of course put a subdivision surface but this is a quick way to get something that's not too big, just sitting there. If you just want it colored and you're not too worried about, you know, uh, UV uh, unwrapping this. Um, let's go ahead and add those little rivets or whatever those things are right here. Okay, so uh, let's uh, click there. Right click, put the 3D cursor there and mesh circle i'm gonna go for 22 vertices rotate y90 and in edit mode i'm going to scale it down to the approximate size and i'll just move it okay so i've got that there come back into solid view and i'm going to make this like this i'm going to hit e to extrude s to scale it in a bit e to extrude i'm going to bring it out and I'm going to curve it in, E, and I'm going to just uh, let's scale first. And then E and Alt M, merge it center. I'm going to put a bevel here, Control B, oh, not too big, like that. And I'm going to select it all, move it out, and shift Alt and click that edge. E, I'm going to pull it back, and I'll bevel this edge. Control B a little bit, one, two, maybe. And we're going to put a subdivision surface on this smooth one might be just fine uh, origin of geometry let's push that back in there 
let's look from the side and here uh, not that ah, just wireframe I'm just gonna copy this take this shift D and G I'm gonna put one over here shift D G put one over here shift D and G and I'll put a small one here I'm just gonna scale it down make sure that it looks like it fits yeah okay let's make sure that these look like they're over the handle itself it all does look pretty good so I'm gonna uh, join all these control J select the handle shift S cursor to selected actually origin geometry and cursor to selected and I'll take these and I'm just gonna mirror them around this in Z I don't do that not work in the Y then Ah, select that. Hit apply. Okay, so there is what I've got. I hit apply that, and I could join it to this if I wanted to. And I've got my saw. All right. Cool. You can go on and uh, give it some materials if you want, but uh, I'm happy with that. Put some text there or whatever. Cool. Thanks for watching.